Good afternoon. Welcome to CPAC. I'm your host, Kim Yader. We are here with the Take Your Power Back show and Citizen Media News. And before me is sitting Border 911, Tom Homan. Tom, an absolute honor to be in your space again. You are such a stand for truth. And I am 100% on board with We the People to take our border back. Where are we at? What are we going to do? We just made a tremendous impact with a Take Our Border Back Southern Border Convoy. We reached over 50 million people, Tom. Three days later, Mayorkas was impeached. Now, I think we might have had a little bit of a push in that direction. But tell me how we're looking and what we're going to do to take this border back. Well, look, I think what you did was a game changer, absolutely. You got a lot of people involved. And that's what we need to keep doing, right? Up to the election day, we need to educate the American people on what's really happening on the border. So unless you're watching Fox or, or maybe Newsmax, you don't know there's a problem at the border. So we got to count on people like you and other people to educate the American people. So when they get to the voting booth in November, they vote for border security. So what happens when Trump comes back? We put the Remain in Mexico program back in play. We put the Third Safe Country Agreements back in play. We continue to build the wall. We end the catch and release. We secure the border. Then we run the biggest deportation operation this nation's come ever on, seen. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, so how can we run the biggest deportation program or whatever you want to call it? The, the, how do we do that in a way that allows the American people to feel like it's going to be a safe getting them back to their countries, getting them out? Well, people need to understand we'll always put national security threats and, and, and public safety threats first. Like on the Trump administration, 91% of everybody ICE arrested was a convicted criminal. So we got to take the threats first. That's always first. But look, people need to understand, don't listen to the, the media when they say we're going to sweep neighborhoods, we're going to build concentration camps. That's not the way it's done. Every operation we do, when you when we go arrest somebody, there's, oper there's an operational worksheet that's done. We know exactly who we're going to arrest. We know exactly where we're going to go. So hopefully find them. A lot of background information is done. This is not a nilly-willy operation, very well-planned operation. So it's a targeting operation. We don't sweep neighborhoods. We don't walk through you know, cities looking for people different than us. It's just a bunch of crap. When we go out in our neighborhood, we're looking for a specific person, go to a specific place yes. to look at that person based on targeted information. This isn't a sweep. It isn't a raid. And as far as where we put them at before we move it in, in, a, in a detention facility, people need to understand that these, these detention facilities have the highest detention standards in the industry when it comes to safety, security, medical care. These we spend on, the government spends a lot of money in these facilities to make sure they get proper care. So don't believe what the left says. It's not going to be a a, a Nazi run a, a raid, which I've been reading in the paper. It's going to be well planned. That's right. Legal, but you know we, we're going to force the law. We can do it in a in a in a in a, in a common sense approach, and that's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. I love it, Tom. I want you to give a word right now to the current administration. What's your message to the administration? Enjoy the next 10 months because you're going to be gone in January. Um, and they should be. That's right. They, they took the most secure border in my lifetime. Get this. President Biden is the first president in the history of this nation who came into office and unsecured a border on purpose. Mm -hmm. On purpose. I worked for six presidents starting with Ronald Reagan. Even Clinton and Obama took some steps to secure the border because they understood you can't possibly have strong national security if you don't That's control right. your borders. Joe Biden, the first president, came in office and unsecured the border. That's right. So what president, what commander in chief says, okay, I want more illegal immigration, I want more sex trafficking on women and children, I want more deadly drugs coming across the border to kill Americans, I want more no inspected terrorists to use this as a gateway to the United States. It's, it's ridiculous that they did this on purpose, and that's the most disturbing thing. This isn't mismanagement. This isn't incompetence. This is by design. So you got to give Joe Biden credit. He kept yeah. his promise. Yeah. He said he's going to open the board. He did it. He certainly did. Yeah, and so we the people have the ability to take our power back right now. We don't need to just stand by. We get to get educated in what's really happening. People get to know. They get to see that there's enough fentanyl in this country to kill every single American. Over 160 nations have entered this country. Men of fighting age. Children are being trafficked. Veterans pushed out of their housing. Schools closed so that illegal immigrants have a place to live. Are you kidding me? We want safe, legal immigration. We want to close that border. If we do not have a border, we do not have a nation. We're going to take this border back, Tom Homan, aren't we? 
You're damn right, and I'll be right there in the mix. Come on, give me some skin. And I gotta say, in Jesus' name, he who began a good work in us, Tom, is gonna carry it out to the very end. We will have an incredible America, and God bless America, God bless you, Tom Holman. You got it. And let's take our power back, let's take our border back.